Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Chelsea. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. I have an injury. Who would have thought, trying to blow up a balloon, the balloon popped when I was blowing it up in my, in my face and hit me in the eye, like taking a thick, hard rubber band and smacking, like pulling it back and smacking your eye with the rubber band really hard. Right in my eye. I'm gonna show it to you. It's all right. <laughs> I can't keep it open because it hurts. Yeah, like so if your eye was like a little bloodshot from not getting enough sleep. Uh, I don't see any visible marks or I'm anything. I'm tearing. But like, it won't stop tearing. My nose is running, which my nose always runs. And it just hurts like Probably somebody hit me really the, hard with a rubber band in the eye. Probably because all the balloon popped all the snot out. <laughs> oh yeah, she's like, oh the balloon popped. And now I'm like icing it. I don't know what else to do. I can't keep it open. Because if I open it, then it starts tearing. And Michael and I were just talking about how much we don't like balloons. Because we all like... I'm, like, I'm not <laughs> blowing these up here. You do it. Yeah, Michael handed it to me because he's like, I don't like balloons. I, can't, I don't want to do this. So I just started blowing them up. And it was the second balloon. So I got one blown up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it anymore. Or I'm going to wear protective eyeglasses. The show must go on. <laughs> the videos have to get filmed. But this time... And from now on, evidently, I'm gonna use safety goggles. These are dirty. They are. Those, that's my, yeah, my weed whacker ones. These are the ones I was trying to blow up. They're in the shape of a heart. I don't have protective eyewear on. It hit my face, like right here, and like right in my eyeball. Oh, I don't even want to, because I didn't like the sound it made. Go in a different room and do it. You're supposed to pull these. Oh, your poor ears. I'm the one that got slapped <laughs> in the eyeball with it. I just need to get the heart shape. <laughs> That's good. That's good? <laughs> okay. All right, making our own taco seasoning. Well, our, yeah, normally we would buy a packet. <laughs> yeah. Like everybody does. So you got meat. What else do you have in there? Uh, okay, so I started with meat. Garlic, onion. Lettuce? Well, that's gonna go on top. Keto taco cups, low carb snack, but we're making a dinner out of it. Yeah, so I we're mean, gonna. It, it's, it's tacos without. With a cheese shell. Without the shell. Yeah. Because the shell is actually going to be melted cheese formed yeah. into a. <laughs> you didn't prep, did you? No, that's, that's brand new. <laughs> Everything's got like the the pot, the lid on it still. Michael does not measure. You're using a measuring spoon, but you just like did a heaping. Oh, it's close enough. <laughs> Everything is close yeah, enough. It's close enough. <laughs> what what did you yeah. just like? I don't know. Whatever. Cumin. Was my, in my oh, it's in my nail. Oh no. Might have been cumin. That's taco seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> Poodle thunk it. <laughs> All right, explain to us how you're making your cheese bowls. Well, you're supposed to like scoop out a couple things of cheese. Okay. Throw it in a preheated oven. Right. They're gonna melt down into like a little, hopefully, circleish thing. <laughs> hopefully, okay. You pull them out of the oven, you take a cupcake tin, flip it upside down and then drape those over top to like form a cup. And how are you going to drape them if they're hot cheese, well, hot melted cheese? Well, you gotta let it cool for a bit, but then like, oh, you know, it's have good. your wife who <laughs> don't mind touching hot stuff to it. Really, have, yeah. or have your wife burn yourself. You're such oh, a but gentleman. You pull it out and you let it cool for a second and then transfer it over. Uh -huh. shouldn't be that no bad. big deal, shouldn't be that bad. Just burn a few fingers off. <laughs> All right, so six minutes was what was called for in the recipe and a little long <laughs> so they came out a little bronze a little golden yeah, a little crispy too far. so we're gonna do more Michael says and we'll do them for less time you just need to melt the cheese is all yeah so yeah you shouldn't shouldn't take I'm gonna wait till they stop sizzling so I can remove them. well okay first batch too long maybe the right size second batch too big 
and too short a time. So that, that one's pretty cheesy. And then we thought, oh, you know what? Let's just make them into the shape of a taco. Well, Michael said, oh, like maybe we should have just made them in the shape of a taco. I think I'd prefer that. And so I pulled out my drying rack for cookies and things like that. And I had seen maybe like online or something where you can take it and just kind of fold it over like that mm -hmm. and make a shell shape. So it's cool. And okay. the, these, were, little... these were too much cheese too, we think. Yeah. I made them too big. A little variety, maybe a little too much cheese and they're like super greasy because of the cheese. But I, we know like a lot of people do this sort of thing for like the keto diet. This is yeah, like a keto Yeah, this is recipe. where I saw this. We're, we're not on the keto diet. This no, was I just thought something. they were cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go this one to try it, so. What did you think of our taco shells? I loved it. She ate pretty much every bit that was on her plate. What was your overall opinion? I liked them. I don't like the pain of making them and cleaning up after them because yeah. when it's a taco shell, it's kind of a greasy you mess. You throw it in the oven, it's done, and it's yeah, the cheese made a greasy mess on our pans. And the process. Make, yeah. Do you think you could just use sliced cheese, or would it not taste as I good? Know. I don't. I don't know. That might Taste, help. I was good. I was happy with them. Yeah, I thought they tasted really good too. I really liked them. And then we had tortilla chips or corn chips, and so after I was done, I kind of used one of those to clean up the mess. And it was like, oh well, I do like the taste and the crunch of the chip of the tortilla or the corn or whatever. But yeah, overall they were really good. I liked the shape of the taco better. You like the taco shape yeah. that I came up with? Yeah. I think that worked like better. Shell, so well, it held more honestly, stuff. I took the the cup shape and I just made it into like a taco well, shell because it was to them. yeah the they kind of weren't solidly crunchy. They just ended up folding up anyway. So. Yeah. So, but yeah, overall they turned out really good. It was just a little more effort than we're used to. Than we want to. Chelsea and mommy are all matchy matchy today. We're both wearing black shirts, and I put my hair in a braid. And Chelsea's like, I want my hair in a braid too. Oh, but so, she has khakis on, you have jeans on. Well, yeah, mommy's still in jean mode. I haven't switched over to shorts yet, even though I should, because it's quite hot. But I just thought we were so cute, all twinsies. <laughs> all right, you guys, Chelsea had two of her friends over from the neighborhood, and they wanted to all give me a makeover. So they... <laughs> you realize there's a piece that's just like... Because I can't just, get it out. Just hang in there. I started to take all my hair out of what they did. And then I was like, oh, I should probably vlog it first. So, yeah. So they're nodded in there. Her one friend's still here, but they're ages. So Chelsea's seven. The other little girl is eight or nine. And the other one's five. And they were just all like brushing and going crazy. And I'm, now I can't get it out. Yeah, there's a okay, thing so, going on up here. I know. And there was one right here. I already got that one out, and then I figured I better vlog. But her plan, her little girl's, her little friend's plan was to do like the ponytails and the braids, and then make it into a star. And her mommy texted me the the Pinterest like directions. <laughs> this might be a lost cause. I might have to get the scissors out. I told them. I said, "You guys can do whatever you want with my hair, but no scissors." <laughs> well. I think I gotta get out the scissors. <laughs>